How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. So for today's review, we are gonna take a look at the Corsair K70 Mark II keyboard, which isn't really new, but their new low profile version is new. So after being one of the best selling keyboards on the market, Corsair refreshed their K70 range with the Mark II that we also got in a cool white and silver special edition, which looked really sexy. And now we also get it in a low profile version. And I think the only thing Corsair have to do now is to make a wireless Corsair K70 keyboard. I think that will be really awesome. So let's take a look at the new low profile K70. See who's it's for. Uh, is it any different than the standard K70 Mark II and if it's worth buying. So let's get into that right after this. But just before that, if you guys are in the market for a new NVIDIA RTX or graphics card, whether it's a 2080 Ti, a 2080 or the new 2070 graphics cards, Rebel Tech has you covered from also all of your favorite brands, whether it's a Gigabyte, MSI or ASUS. So definitely check out Rebel Tech to get your new RTX graphics card now. So starting off with the pricing for the new K70 Mark II Slim, it is retailing for around 2,500 Rand on Rebeltech, year in South Africa, or $170 on Amazon, which does pretty much make it the same price as the standard K70 Mark II. The K70 Slim still has the same dark brush aluminum design as the standard K70 Mark II, but it's more slim lined, which looks nice and sleek. And this takes the K70 Mark II down from around 40 millimeters to just 29 millimeters at its highest point. Each key is still RGB backlit along with the Corsair logo at the top that you can change the colors, the effects, the brightness and sync it with all of your other Corsair RGB products. In the top right corner, you get the media controls with its smooth metal volume wheel for some satisfying smooth slides. Uh, on the left side, you get your profile selection switch, three level backlight brightness adjustment, and your gaming mode key to disable certain commands that you can also go select in the software. But of course, by using the IQ software, you can also remap any of the keys on the keyboard to whatever you want. Now taking a look behind the keyboard, you get your USB port for your mouse, your headset, and it does also apply enough power for even an external hard drive, which is nice. And then also you do get your included palm rest, which is always handy and makes typing a lot more comfortable, even though it is completely plastic. Taking a look underneath the keyboard, you get your large anti-slip pads, the sideway flip out keyboard feet, and for the cable, you get a thick braided 1.8 meter dual USB cable. Now then, getting into the switches, to make this a new K70 is so thin, Corsair went with a Cherry's new low profile switches that you can either get in MX Reds or MX Speeds at the moment. Both require 45 grams of actuation of force, but the MX Reds has a total travel distance of only 3.4 millimeters and actuation port of 1.2 millimeters, whereas the MX Speeds have a bit faster at a total travel distance of 3.2 millimeters and actuation port of only one millimeter. This makes it great not only for gamers, but also for people who type a lot and do like a more of a laptop style low profile keyboard. This honestly just feels way better than pretty much any laptop keyboard that I've used so far. But now comparing the low profile speed switches to the standard full size, the problem that I mostly had with the full size MX speeds was that because of the extremely low travel distance and a linear response while typing, if you accidentally just nick the side of a different key, it would send a command through and you might not even notice and that would just mess up your timing completely. But with these new low profile switches, it's not that a big of an issue and you still get the awesome gaming experience because you still want that fast reaction with these MX speeds. 
Also, because of the lower profile, they do sound softer than the standard MX Speed switches. I don't really have another K70 with MX Speeds to compare it to, but here is how these new low profile MX Speed switches sound. Moving on to the keycaps, these low profile keys are a laser graved ABS plastic with a smooth surface and a slight curve. Except for the spacebar which has the more steel texture design like most other Corsair keyboards. Also you do get a few extra ABS keycaps included with the same steel textured but in a grey. You do also get a keycap puller which is always handy. Now the new Slimline K70 Mark II probably won't be for everybody, but it does give us consumers just more options to fit our needs and I have to say Corsair did a spot on job with the new Slim. It still keeps the same great design, features and RGB from the K70, but gives us the option for a softer and even quicker switch. I personally had a blast using the Slim for some of my gaming where the snappy speed switches did come into play very nicely. But again also for typing, which these days unfortunately I just do way much more than gaming, they did work excellent. And then because of this, the Slim might be a great option for people who work on laptops most of the times, who do also like the lower profile keys. I know a lot of my friends who work and program and all of that, they do like the low profiles, so that might be a good option for them. And even possibly for streamers who do want a more silent switch. But now that's pretty much it for my review of the new Corsair K70 Mark II Slim or Blow Profile Edition. Uh, if you do, if you guys want to get the K70 for yourself, definitely check out the links in the video description where you can pick it up on Rebeltech if you live in South Africa or Amazon. Also, if you guys did like this review, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And then if you guys want me to review anything else, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to get my hands on one. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.